Hello everyone. Uh, I welcome you in the name of the Almighty God, the Alpha and Omega, to today's sec ambassadors. Uh, to today's topic says God can restore your lost as aid. God can restore your lost as aid. And our test shall be taken from the book of Second Kings chapter six verse one to seven. Second King chapter six verse one to seven. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you because you are the Almighty. We appreciate you because there is no one like you. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega, you are the beginning, you are the end. You are the God that can fix all situation. You are the God that can reverse the irreversible. You are the God that can that deals with difficult situations. Glory be to your name in Jesus' name. As we study your word today, consigning how to restore our lost as aid. I pray, O oh God, that you speak to us, you speak through me, you speak to your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you have answered, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Like I said earlier, our topic is God can restore your lost as aid. Our text is taken from 2 Kings 6, verse 1 to 7, and I read, And the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too strict for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan, and take hence every man a beam, and let us make us a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. And he went with them. And when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. But one, but as one was falling a beam, the ass head fell into the water, and he cried, and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. And the man of God said, Where fell it? And he showed him the place, and he cut down the, the, the stick, and cast it either, and the iron did swim. Therefore he said, Take it up to thee, and he put his hand and took it. See this very interesting passage uh, is what we'll be considering today. According to our introduction, I want us to understand that in life, people as women being, we try to look for situations to our, we have we try to look for solutions rather to our problems. And one of the most interesting attributes of Almighty God is that He has the ability, He has the supernatural power to make what seems impossible to be possible. What did I say? God can make everything that seems impossible to be possible. What man cannot do, God can do it. And that is why they call him the, 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 the Alpha and Omega. That's why he is a miracle worker. That's why he, he, they, they, they call him the, 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 the most high God because he can make impossible situations to become possible. So for today, I want us to understand that in life, there are different uh, problems that people face. There are problems in, in uh, telecommunication industry, in, uh, in, 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 in different aspects. And uh, even in technical, technological developments, we see today, we see phone, uh, electricity, car, internet. There are products that we have has been designed by people to overcome our challenges. Just like the passage we read, the place where they are is too small. They are looking for a big place. What happened? Something got wrong. They asked, they, they, they need an hands to cut the wood, to, to, to cut the wood. But as they were cutting, the ass head fell. I want us to understand that in the process of making ends meet, in the process of exploring life, in the process of trying to fulfill destiny sometimes things goes wrong and that was what happened in this story that we read 
things can things can go wrong in fact this one they call them the sons of the prophet they are not just ordinary people they are children of the most high god they are the sons of the prophet they desire a change in their life just as we children of god too we desire a change in this year 2022 but along the line the unexpected happens the head the as head was lost i want to ask you as your as head gotten um as the as have you missed your ass head have you lost your ass head in 2021 or you have been looking for it you cannot find that some that thing that is key and primal to your life and destiny because the ass head is the most essential part of the ass if you know the ass very well it has the head and the, the the body the body is the wood the wood cannot do anything the wood is just like any other wood but the removal of the, the, the head of the house leaves the wood unuseful. So as children of the Most High God, I want, to, I want you to know that what is that thing that you have lost? What is that thing that you cannot, that, that is paramount to your life and destiny? That key, that main important thing, it could be the grace of God upon your life. It could be that you've seen your life, you cannot find the grace of God. It could be that you have lost some spiritual gifts. It could be that your finances is your financial life is done. There is no job. There is no vision, no idea. Everything is blank. Your relationship is not okay. But there are many things that could be a form of as head. I want us to understand that God can restore them. The good news is that. The Almighty God can do what can restore any ass head that has been lost. He did it in Second Kings chapter six, verse one to seven, where we read, "He can do it again." By their biblical step to to recover lost ass head, and uh, I want us to take note of this from where we read. The first one says, ensure and sustain the presence of God. If we look at this scripture very well, thank God the sons of the prophet had Elijah, Elisha with them. Elisha here signify saying that wherever we go, we should have the presence of God in our life. Don't keep the presence of God in your bedroom in this 2020, in this 2022. Keep the presence of God with you 24-7. So they were able to overcome these challenges because they had the presence of God with them, because the prophet was with them. The second is that cry to God for intervention. Now that you know that the ass head has fallen, you cannot see the ass head again. Then cry, pray to God. I want us to know that God answers prayer. <laughs> prayer still changes. Prayer changes situations. So cry unto the Most High God. Call for Him for divine intervention and He will come to your rescue. Another thing we need to understand is that in our prayer, let us be sincere. In, in verse 5, the Bible says that, But the ass head fell into the water and he cried and said, Alas, Master, for it was born. He told God, sorry, he told the, 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 the man of God, he said, oh, hey, man of God, even this, as was what was borrowed tell god the situation of your challenge the the, the, the situation you, you you are tell him what you have lost and the fun, the, the most important thing is that the, the what we should know is that even if you don't tell him he knows so why not be open to him believe that god can do miracle i want us to understand that god is a miracle working god this new year is a year of miracles in this January, God is going to do miracles. In February, He's going to do tremendous miracles in our life. And what the, what the, and that means He can make impossible. What seems impossible, He can make it possible. Another thing is we need to be obedient. We need to obey divine instruction. According to verse 6 and 7, the Bible says, The man of God was asking them, Where fell it? And He showed him the place. He said, cut down this, cut, and he cut down stick and cast it either, and the, the iron did swim. So he obeyed instruction. When they asked him, where did the, where fell it? 
He showed the man of God. The sixth point says, be plain enough to let God know the source or origin of your problem. God is the one that knows all things. Even if you don't tell him, he knows. But when you are in the presence of God, be humble. Open up to him. The Bible says, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. That sin itself, God knows it. If you not cover it, you, the Bible says you will not prosper. So even if you don't tell God you have sinned, he knows that you have sinned. So why not open up to God so that you can recover your lost as aid? And I pray that as we take both steps, the Lord himself will give us the faith to recover it in Jesus' name. Remember the Bible says in the book of Hebrews that without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is impossible to please God. So I want us to be very, very, uh, to be very, very, careful in taking step to recover the lost as aid. Now, there are some important lessons from this story and I will quickly run through it because of our time. And uh, the, it says that it's good to seek God's direction first in all we do, not just to ask him to approve our plan. You know, sometimes we already have what we want to do. We just say, Father, approve this approve this no the most important thing is that when you want to do anything let's tell him these people they were helped because in the first place they told god they have challenges that this place is small for us and god came to their rescue when there was challenges so when they had the challenge so what i'm saying is that if we have put our life in the hands of god when there is any problem god will come and he will fix it the bible says trust in the lord with all thy heart According to the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, is it trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lean not unto your own understanding, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. God is interested in our progress and comfort. I want us to know that God is a, is a loving father. He wants us to be to, 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 to progress. He wants us to he wants comfort for us. So we need to know that. Also, unity of purpose is important in our family, in everywhere, wherever, in, in the church or wherever we walk. As we look at it, the, the, the son of the prophet, they were united, they, were, they, 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 they went for approval, they got their approval, they were in unity. And we should know that in every thing we find ourselves, let us be united. As we are united in our family, in order for us to get our lost as Ed, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. The next thing I want us to know that is that we must always have faith that God can do all things. Like I said, without faith, it's impossible to please God. The wisest thing to do in time of trouble is to call on God. The Bible says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Then also, we must be careful and watchful to know the genesis of the problem and the challenges. I want us to know that God himself can use the unimaginable to solve our problem. See, he can use what we don't even expect to solve our problem. So for us to have our desired miracle from God, I want us to know that after praying, we also have our part to play. We must act in faith, we must pray, we must worship God. If, if necessary, we sow seed, we submit application, we must live an healthy um, life for example you are looking for the fruit of the womb try to live a healthy life you are looking for future partner try to make your own personal efforts personal efforts in terms of looking radiant having a purpose that god can do it having the the, the, the belief and living by faith and uh, making calls you have applied for that job you have not received response Call God, uh, sorry, call the, those people, make necessary call, make necessary contacts. And I pray that as we make our own, uh, 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 as we take our own step, God will bless us in Jesus. Remember the Bible says faith without, faith without work is dead. So we should also do our own part and let God do what he can only do, that we cannot do. Unlike the son of the prophet, we must be grateful like after God, I want us to know that when we pray, when we do all these things we have listed, God will definitely um, 
restore our lost as it. And I want us to, when we get it back, I want us to be grateful to God. And I pray God will bless us in Jesus' name. Conclusion, our God can do all things. Call upon him today, like he said. Say, call unto me, and I will answer thee. And I will show you great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. I pray that the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. I want us to say, Father, in year 2022, I recover all my lost asset in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I recover all my lost, all my lost assets in Jesus' name. Those things paramount to my life and destiny, I recover them in Jesus' name. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us to, uh, I want any one of us that has not given his our life to Christ to know that if you have lost something important in your life, the first thing you need to do is to give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ because tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. And I pray that as you give your life to Jesus today, God will receive you into his kingdom. And I want you to say after me, say, Father, I am ready to give my life to you today. I submit my life to you. I want you to be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. And every lost ass head that every um ass head that have been lost in my life, restore them back to me in Jesus' name. Thank you because you have answered. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. I want you to know that Jesus loves you, and uh, you should also try as much as possible to read your Bible and get in contact to a church that uh, believes in the word of God and in prayer. And I pray as you do so, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Lastly, I want us to kindly subscribe to our channel, YouTube, YouTube channel, so that we can grow together as SEC as sec ambassador, as children of the Most High God. And I pray that as you do so, the Lord Almighty shall bless us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen.